Happy today. Uh, this is Matthew. I am coming to you from my home, which I absolutely appreciate. And today what I wanted to do was tell you a story. Tell you a story about Michael. Um, Michael is the name of my husband. Michael is the name of my father. Michael is the name of my best friend. And Michael is the name of a gentleman who helped me to get through probably one of my biggest career challenges in my life. Um, now, those are all four different Michaels. Um, so I know that might get confusing. And to be fair, on some level, um, at least partially, each Michael, you could say, um, could be attributed to my um, ability to be here now. Actually, that is a true statement. They are all responsible for me being here now. Um, why do I want to tell you uh, the story about Michael? Uh, <laughs> or my my Michaels, as I like to say, um, and sidebar sidebar. I totally think this is going to become a book. Michael, Michael, my Michaels. Um, but point being, why? Well, obviously, um, these people, these men, have played a significant role in my life. Um, obviously, starting with my father, who, to be fair, was not. Um, the father figure that, you know, we aspire our father figures to be. However, um, I know that he's a human being like the rest of us, and we all make mistakes. So I think one of my journeys, my next steps, is to um, connect with my father. I'm going back in January to see family again. Um, uh, to see family after having a very traumatic experience happen to me and, and having put some time behind me to get to where I'm at, um, being able to have a conversation, connect with family, including my father, um, is something that's interesting um, for me. Um, emotionally, I think there's some reconciliation that needs to happen for me to be able to move forward. Um, Michael my best friend um, I met at Goucher College um, and immediately connected with him and he's been with me um, throughout this entire evolution um, going through you know college uh, going through the life transitions uh, <laughs> that we go through at that time moving to New York moving back from New York to the DC area um, and and being through that whole experience um, again of the most recent events um, he's been there um, and has been a great friend uh, and then my husband of course um, we can't forget my husband uh, who I love and appreciate and um, have my challenges you know, I married the man five years ago or six I think um, and you know he struggles with depression and anxiety and um, you know has had his ups and downs and has his own family issues and so um, and in spite of that we're still together and we're getting through it so um, there's something to be said I think <laughs> about our relationship and I really appreciate uh, and love him um, and then uh, to top it all off, perhaps coincidentally, um, I had an amazing friend and coach, really he was my business coach, help me to get through um, the complete loss of my business, um, something that I had spent, and to be fair, it wasn't just my business, to be fair, I was a minority owner, <laughs> which you know, it's a much bigger conversation, but the point being that he was there with me as I was realizing that I was maybe getting taken advantage of, though, though to be fair, at the point, I 
didn't realize to what degree, um, all the way to the moment where, um, you know, it all just fell apart when my business partner got arrested and I had to deal with the fallout of um, what he had done. Um, embezzling millions of dollars from a, from a, a client um, and destroying everything that I had worked for for seven years and and, and ruining or, or not really yeah ruining in some cases uh, devastating the lives of employees and 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 negatively impacting clients and their businesses and just the whole thing was really really effed up um you know and, and let's let's you know not forget the fact too that you know i'm a 30 some i was a 30 something year old, old ceo struggling to figure out how to just be me um and and anyway so michael um my coach at the time saw me through um the transition out of that experience and yeah it was intense um, and I think I've learned a lot about trauma I've learned a lot about business I've learned a lot about human beings I've learned a lot about myself and relationships and I've learned a lot about maybe what I don't know um, but the cool thing is is I'm here I'm still kicking it. Um, I, uh, yes, still have a lot of stuff I need to deal with, um, but I'm, I'm in a much better place than I was um, even three months ago, even a month ago, um, to be fair. And so I wanna leave you with one thing that maybe came to fruition um, in all of this, um, because there is a happy ending and, and there will always be a happy ending, at least in my story. Um, and one of the things that I learned the most about, I think, in this experience was this idea of how important it is to harmonize three different, the three different parts of yourself. Um, and, you know, in Western culture, we call it the body, right, our physical being. Um, the mind, which I think our culture, um, Western culture, academia trains us to be up here, business trains us to be up here, um, and our soul, um, the part of us that is fueled by spiritual conversations and understanding a deeper um, understanding and wisdom associated with, with values and beliefs and how these things um, all come together, um, or rather harmonize is, is very critical um, and so one of the things that I'm working on right now actually is this practice that I call harmonizing Kokoro um, and Kokoro is actually an interesting word there's a hist a personal history of that of that word for me but um, what I love about that word is it's a, actually a Japanese word for heart um, but the meaning of it is body mind and soul as one or at least as I've come to understand it and so when I talk about harmonizing Kokoro what I'm really talking about is your heart your purpose your values your beliefs and how all of that manifests itself in terms of your practice physically what you do with your body your practice mentally what you do with your mind and your practice spiritually, what you do with your soul. So that's what I'm interested in right now. I know um, it's a little, maybe, you know, not some people's cup of tea, but whatever. I've also learned that that don't matter. Um, so have a beautiful day, um, and we'll talk soon. Ciao.